Hello, it's Pastor John from Evangel North Church, and I'm standing in our uh, yard because I've got something exciting that I want to do. It's an outreach. It's a prayer outreach, and I want to inver invite you to come out to our church and pray. And what we've set up is seven crosses, and with each of the seven crosses, it represents seven points of the Lord's Prayer. I want to quickly just kind of go over them with you. It starts out here with this uh, sign that says that we are going to abide by social distancing, encouraging people to maintain six feet, and then talking to them about each one of the prayer points and how that you can pray as suggested or you can just pray whatever God tells you. But to come to the church and come pray and to seek God. And we've got these seven crosses set up. This is a uh, prayer point. Uh, number one, which is our Father which art in heaven. And then we continue to go on down as we get into each of the seven prayer points. And I just want to quickly just walk you through these as you will be able to see on each one of these prayer points. There are uh, suggestions on how to pray for that. For instance, that one's hallowed be thy name. We list there the seven redemptive names of God. And then we come over here and we're coming to uh, prayer point number three. And that one is thy kingdom come, thy will be done. We talk about things like how to pray for yourself, for your family, for your church, the nation. And so we talk about those in prayer point uh, number three. And then as we come over to the corner of the property, we get to the fourth prayer point. And in the fourth prayer point, right here on the corner where everybody has to stop, it's the prayer point that says, give us this day our daily bread. And in that prayer point, it teaches you how to pray for your needs to be met. And then as we go on to prayer point number five, as we continue to walk along here, and so it gives you a good little walk too. Prayer point number five is forgive us of our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And as you begin to pray that, and you can stay there. I'm just going real quickly. But each of these prayer points, you know, you want to spend some time. Pray in the Holy Spirit. Pray before that cross, the cross of Jesus. The cross represents, I know it's the place of his death, but... But for Christianity, it doesn't just mean his death. It means all of it. It means the, the death, the burial, the resurrection, all that Jesus did. Not that just he died, but he rose again. Prayer point number six, there is lead us not into temptation. As we begin to pray that, and we begin to go to each one of these crosses, remembering that because of Jesus' death, because of his resurrection, because of his life, that all of these things are ours, that we can begin to pray through these things. And as we walk over the church property and begin to pray, here's prayer point number seven. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. And we begin to pray. And I want you to come out as often as you can. Bring the family. It's a good little walk. Come outside, pray. Here's a, our final one that just thanks you for coming, uh, for praying with us, inviting people to our church services, our drive-in and online services, those types of things. Um, and I just want to encourage you, come out to the church. Let's walk and pray. Bring your family. Be a great little time. I just did it in four minutes, but you'll, you'll take much longer. You'll spend time at each one of those crosses. And as you pray... And as you seek God, as we come together and invite the community, people from any church, this is not just for evangelism, people from any church can come and pray and walk the property and let's seek God together. We're going to keep these up uh, for at least through the month of May, maybe through the summer, I'm not sure. But I want you to come out and let's pray together in Jesus' name. Amen.